Hello, this is Gali Goldfarb and thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about whether dietary supplements are absorbed into our body and whether they are safe. Our bodies need a whole host of different vitamins, minerals and many other nutrients to function at optimal levels and we need to take in these nutrients through our diet. However, in order to get all of these health supporting nutrients, we need to have a very diverse and varied diet throughout the week. Unfortunately, in our day and age, not all people can afford a varied diet and uh, they can't afford foods that are rich in nutrients and some people are very short on time to concern themselves with dietary variation and whether they got sufficient nutrient intake. So people opt to take some dietary supplements to support their lifestyle. Now this is a very wise decision since research shows that out of 19 examined micronutrients, half of the United States population has deficient intakes of six nutrients, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D and E, as well as calcium and magnesium. And some deficiencies were found in all of 17 out of the 19 uh, nutrients that were examined. So there were deficiencies among people, uh, not 50% of the population, but less, but there were still deficiencies. Now, luckily in many Western world countries, vitamins and minerals are added to foods through enrichment and fortification programs. The study also found that without enrichment and fortification programs and without supplementation, many uh, United States citizens would not have achieved their recommended nutrient intake levels. Luckily, statistics show that most people take at least one supplement a week. Taking dietary supplements has become part of our modern world culture, but many of us have no clue whether the supplements that we are consuming are efficiently absorbed and influence our health in a positive way. And this is what I will talk about today. So let's talk firstly about the safety of dietary supplements. In the United States, new dietary supplements do not need approval of the US uh, Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, before they are marketed. However, supplement manufacturing companies are responsible for determining the safety uh, and that the beneficial claims of the supplements are substantiated by adequate evidence and are not false or misleading. Now the FDA is responsible for taking action against misbranded dietary uh, supplement products after they reach the market. So they are very safe in the United States. In the Euro European Union, same story. Uh, supplements are considered uh, uh, food and therefore they need to pass the Food Safety Act. And uh, so from a safety point of view, all uh, supplements that come from the European Union are safe. Most other nations have Food and Drug Acts as well uh, that also consider food supplement manufacturing and are also safe. However, these should be individually examined. Now let's move on to the usefulness of dietary supplements. First of all, I wish to state the obvious, and that is that supplements do not act as a substitution for food, nor are they intended to have such a function. So this is uh, very important to, to clear out. Now that we got that straight, the question remains, how effective are these supplements and uh, are they achieving what they are supposed to be achieving? Well, as a biochemist and nutritionist, I can state that there are certain supplements that may block the activity of other supplements, and therefore these supplements should not be taken together. On the other hand, there are uh, certain nutrients that uh, they actually help each other um, become better absorbed in the body. Therefore, these supplements should be taken together. Now, uh, I'll give a few examples, first of all, of supplements that should not be taken together. And I'm talking when I'd say together at the same sitting, meaning taking the two capsules or tablets or whatever, taking them together. Now, calcium and zinc, uh, calcium blocks the absorption of zinc and uh, calcium and iron shouldn't be taken together because calcium blocks iron absorption. Calcium and copper shouldn't be taken together because calcium blocks copper absorption. Uh, calcium and magnesium because certain forms of calcium block certain forms of uh, magnesium, the absorption of certain forms of magnesium. Um, a calcium and vitamin D. Calcium may interfere with vitamin D uh, metabolism. 
and also zinc and selenium. Zinc blocks selenium absorption. Zinc and iron, uh, zinc blocks iron absorption and the opposite. Iron also blocks zinc absorption. Now, vitamin B1, vitamin C and copper may hinder the absorption of vitamin B12. So these should not be taken together. Um, also, um, iron and manganese, iron blocks uh, manganese absorption, and vitamin D and magnesium, which always come together at most, in most uh, supplements, um, the vitamin D increases the removal of magnesium from the body. Therefore, it's not very useful. Also, polyphenols in grapes, wine, coffee, and tea, um, and iron shouldn't be taken together because polyphenols block iron absorption, as well as uh, phytates in whole grains, legumes, nuts, and seeds, um, also uh, block iron uh, absorption. They inhibit the, iron, the absorption of iron. Uh, therefore, these um, should not be taken with anything but fruit. You can take this um, iron supplement with fruit or with water. Now, phytates also block um, zinc absorption and therefore uh, zinc supplements should be taken with fruit or water as well. Now, phytates and manganese, same story. Phytates inhibit manganese absorption and therefore this supplement should only be taken with fruit or water. Now, supplements that benefit from being taken together include magnesium and the B complex, all of the B vitamins and magnesium because the B vitamins help magnesium absorption. Also, zinc and vitamin A. Zinc is required for vitamin A absorption. And uh, of course, iron and vitamin C. Um, iron, um, vitamin C helps iron absorption. And vitamin A and essential fats, which are both fat soluble and enhance the absorption one of the other. So for these reasons, I don't recommend taking a multivitamin supplement, um, in, in like taking multivitamins all in one. Uh, as they may actually cause nutritional deficiencies and or nutrient excesses that are both non-beneficial and may be even detrimental to your health. I do, however, recommend food supplements, which I will mention in a minute. But first, I want to talk about the absorption of nutritional supplements. So are dietary supplements absorbed well in our body? Well, the answer is it depends because it depends on sev several factors. Uh, for example, it depends on the quality of the specific supplement, whether um, uh, the processing methods, whether it has additives and fillers in the supplement, this will in, uh, influence the absorption of the supplement. Also, the chemical structure of the nutrient itself. Um, also, co-administered medications. So if you're taking different medications, these will influence um, uh, the um, availability of the nutrients in the supplements. Also, the frequency of administration. So if you take the um, supplement often, then of course uh, you will have more in your body and this will influence the absorption of the nutrient. Then also uh, the levels of the nutrient in your in your diet. So if you have a lot of a certain nutrient in your diet, this may influence the absorption of a supplement. Also a person's age and gender will influence uh, the absorption of uh, different supplements and a person's genetic profile definitely will in, in influence uh, whether the, um, a certain nutrient can be absorbed or not. Also a bacterial infection in a person will influence, for example, helicobacter pylori will influence the absorption of certain uh, nutrients through supplementation. Now, because of these many factors influencing the absorption of certain nutrient supplements and the contradiction in taking some nutrients together uh, with others, I do recommend taking food supplements rather than nutrient supplements. Now, this means that the supplement taken is a whole food that is rich in nutrients. Examples of, of such foods include moringa, barley grass, and spirulina, chlorella, and there are many other superfoods. Now, these superfood supplements are an excellent way of providing your body with a wealth of nutrients in a balanced way as nature intended. However, if there is a specific need for specific nutrients for certain health, health conditions or for certain situations in life that require extra nutrition, such as during pregnancy, lactation, uh, childhood, or especially stressful periods in life, and for athletes, of course, and people aged over 50, then supplementation of different nutrients is also very uh, a good idea. Now, although I recommend food, su food supplements, 
uh, care should be taken with these foods as they are very nutrient dense and this can cause certain problems during the first three months of pregnancy. So don't take even the food supplements during the first three months of pregnancy. So to conclude, if you are a healthy person, then supplementing your diet with specific nutrient-dense superfood supplements is the best way to go and it's the most natural way to go as well. And if you are suffering, on the other hand, from any health condition, then certainly specific nutrients will be of help in improving your health and vitality. Now consulting with a nutritionist or a doctor with an understanding in nutrition is key to preparing the right supplement regimen for you. And if you are interested in this um, uh, service, we offer this through the Gorilla Diet as a personal menu plan, which includes also uh, the foods, your daily menu and the weekly menu, as well as supplement recommendations for your specific condition. We request blood tests and uh, all sorts of other information to prepare your personalized menu for you. So you can check out the details in the description of this video below. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and ring the notifications button to get notifications whenever I upload a video. You can also visit my website at www.thegorilladiet.com for lots of health and nutrition information as well as many programs to help you lose weight and achieve the health that you desire. Thank you very much.